Hello and welcome back to the channel. This is Abhinav. So in this video, we are going to talk about the problem B of put forces round 772, which is avoid local net. So the concept of this problem, the problem statement of this problem was uh, uh, quite uh, easy to understand. Okay, it was not difficult. Basically, what you have to do is you have to replace some elements of the array so that there should be no local maximum what is local maximum if there is a number in the array there is an element in the array such that the number presiding it and a number succeeding it is less than that number both are less than a number then that number is a maximum uh, maxima local maxima and we have to avoid that we can replace uh, an element to avoid the local maxima so we will understand this problem by taking these these test cases only Okay, because these test cases are enough to understand the logic of the problem. So I will discuss all the test cases. Okay, to discuss the uh, problem and the problem statement. So let's move towards the whiteboard. So yeah. So first of all, let me copy that uh, test cases. So these are our test cases. So yeah, these are the test cases which are given to us. So we will analyze each and every test case one by one that what we have to do. So first of all, we have to understand one thing that if there is already no local maxima, okay, uh, in the particular uh, in the particular array, then what we have to do, then we have to just output the same array. For example, in the first case, in the first case, if we see there is no max local maxima means it is 2 1 2 so the first and last elements can't be local maxima because there is uh, uh, because up there is no number after this number there is no number before this number so these cannot be local maxima only this number can be local maxima and this is not because 2 is greater than 1 and 2 is also greater than 1 so this is this is basically local minima so we don't have to check about uh, about local minima we have to check about local maxima so in this case this array is the only solution okay so in this case if we see the first one the answer is zero means, means zero means zero number of operations are required and this own array is the answer of this problem now i will talk about the second array. the second array is one two three one okay this is the second array. so first of all we will move from the first index to n minus two because the zero and the n minus one index can't be local minimum maximum. So we will, we will check from 1 to n minus 2. So first of all, we will check for this index. So if we check this index, what we can check is we have to check the number presiding it and number succeeding it. So yes, you can see that this is not a local maxima. Okay? Yeah. So now what we will do is we will check for next number. Next number is the 3. You can check that this this 3 is greater than 2 also and greater than 1 also. So this is a local max. So we have identified a local maximum which is at, at index 2. This is. Now the thing is, how can we avoid? How can we nullify this local maxima? To avoid this, what we can do? We can change three numbers. Any one of the three numbers. We can either change this 2 to 3 or sorry, another number. Means a number which is greater than or equal to 3. If it, this will become 3, 3, 1, then there will be no local maxima. Or we can change this number also. If we make this number less than 3, for example, 2, 2, 1, then also there is no local maxima. Or we can change this one also. Means if it is 2, 2, 3, 1, then we can change it like 2, 3, 3. Then also it is not a local maxima. What should we change? So what we will change it? This is the real problem. What should we change to make, to nullify that local maxima? To make neutral that local maxima? So what we will do is we will not change this middle element. Why? We will, why will not change? Because if we change this particular index, we have already iterated from it. हम लोग इससे खुद पास कर चुके हैं. अब हम लोग आगे इसका use कहीं नहीं करने वाले हैं. हम लोग आगे इसका कभी use नहीं करने वाले. So what we will do is we will change the next index. Because if we are increasing this value to three to nullify this local maxima. What is happening is maybe there is a another maxima here and this value is also nullifying that also. So what we will do is 
वी विल एदर चेंज द नंबर विच इज आफ्टर डेल लोकल मैच और बिफोर डेल लोकल मैच सो इन दिस केस वी विल चेंज द नंबर आफ्टर we will we will make it to 1 2 3 3 and we will change it like we will make it equal make it equal to 3 but abhi ek condition bachi hui hai one condition is remaining we will cover it in the later step we will cover it okay that condition that when we have to change this number which is before that local maxima we have we can also change this we can also make it 1 3 3 1 this is also valid but when when is that case We will discuss it in the next cup uh, up coming solution. Now we have to take the next step. Okay, the next uh, test case. So the array which is given to us in next is one two one two one. Okay. So in this uh, array also you can see that we have two local maxima. So the first one is at this position. So we will iterate from here to here. So we will first of all consider this local maxima. so what we will do is to nullify to check this local maximum what we will do is we can either change this or either change this so first of all our first preference should be to change the number after that because agar hum log uske baad ka number check change karenge to maybe wo aage kahin use ho jaye dekho kaise jab hum log is number ko 2 kar denge to ye aaye ho jayegi 1 2 2 2 1 now because we have changed this number this changing this 1 to 2 also nullify this local maximum So we are nullifying two local maxima by using only one replacement. That is why I am telling you that always replace the value that is after that, so that that can be used in the upcoming maxima also. Fine. So in here, in this case, it will be one, two, two, one. This is the maybe that maybe this is the one point here. Two possible solutions are there. Other another solution is this. So maybe there are many possible solutions. But according to our logic, this was the solution here, and this was the solution here. This is the solution here. Now we will discuss about the next next uh, test case. Okay. So the next test case is uh, let me raise this. The next case is that uh, we are given with uh, a very uh, array of big array, array of nine numbers. So we will copy it here. This is the idea. Okay, yeah. So here, first of all, we have to identify the local maxima. So I will underline the local maxima. This is the local maxima. This is the local maxima. This is okay. There are four local maxima. Okay. Now see what we will do is here is the where we are. This we will discuss our next logic, next part of our logic. You can see here that in this case, this is the local maxima. So what we can do is we will change this one to two. Okay, so now the array is one, two, two, three, two, three, one, two, one. Okay, so now this local maxima is got nullified. Now we have this one as local maxima. Okay, now what we we'll, we can do is, हम लोग क्या करेंगे? अब यहाँ पर आपको main चीज देखनी है, ठीक है? देखना. Now what we we can do is that after this, we have to check for this local maxima. now we can either change the value of this number or this number to nullify this local maximum so we can change this to 2 3 according to our current logic because we have to change the number succeeding it the number after that maxima but in this case we will change this number why but why why should we change this number because we have already changed this number once so changing this number again will only require one operation which is has been already been done agar hum log is 2 ko fir se 3 kar denge is local maxima ko nullify karne ke liye to ab array ho jayegi 1 2 3 3 2 3 1 2 1 abhi dekho ye local maxima ja chuka hai ye bhi ja chuka hai aur replacement kitna us ve hua is 1 ko humne 3 kiya hai computer ko nahi pata computer don't know that we have first change 1 to 2 and then 2 to 3 computer knows that we have change 1 to 3 means there is only one replacement so in case when already we have replaced a number preceding it we will choose that number otherwise we will choose the next number so that it can be it may be used in the upcoming maxima so agar use kar chuke pichle number to usko dobara use karenge nahi kar chuke hain to agla number ko use karenge taki aage kahin use ho jaye now we will change this to to 3 now you can see that this local maximum is also identified this is also identified after doing only this one replacement now we will check the other maximum for example this one 
So here, here what we will do is we'll check for this local maxima. So we can error change this, error change this. So here we will change this, change this, change this, change this. Why? Why we can change? Because if we will change this, change this, change this. तो यहां पे इस वाले को नीलीफाई करने के लिए हमको इसको टू करना पड़ता है इसको टू करना पड़ता है अगर हम लोग तो क्या कर रहे हैं अगर पहले ही ये मॉडल चेंज होकर आ रहा होता जैसे यहां पे था कि पहले ही वन से टू कर चुके तो टू से थ्री करना पड़ा तो सही रहा पर ये पहले से नहीं तो हम लोग क्यों इसको फालतू में रिप्लेसमेंट करें विल रिप्लेस द नेक्स्ट नंबर सो दैट इट कैन बी यूज इन द अपकमिंग मैक्सिम ऑल्सो सो इफ वी चेंज इफ वी चेंज विट अ मिनट सो इफ वी विल चेंज दिस पर्टिकुलर नंबर Which is the number after this three, this one, two, three. This will help this local maxima to also nullify. This is the basic logic. So how can we check? The thing is that how can we check that this number is already replaced or not? This number is already replaced from one to two or not? For that we can simply take a uh, what is that? Uh, duplicate array. And after taking the duplicate array, we can just compare the, the indices that that number is already re replaced. और नॉट ये बेसिकली लॉजिक था आई होप समझ में आ गया होगा ना आया हो तो कमेंट करके पूछ लो अभी टेलीग्राम जो पूछ सकते हो अब चलते कोड की तरफ सो टू अंडरस्टैंड इट मोर क्लियरली दैट व्हाट वी आर व्हाट आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन सो दिस इज आर कोड ओके व्हाट आई हैव डन इज आई हैव फर्स्ट इनपुट द वेक्टर नाउ आई हैव मेक अ डुप्लीकेट वेक्टर टू चेक नाउ इफ it is a local maxima if it is a local maxima now what i can do is if the number presiding it is is already the number presiding is is already changed matlab equal nahi hai change ho chuka hai ek bar to hum log usko hi change karenge so that what will happen is that what will happen is hame ek extra operation na karna padega already change ho chuka hai usko check kar le otherwise we will make extra operation and change the number succeeding it now we will and output the number of operations and our vector this was the clear cut solution of our problem i hope you get it if you have any doubt you can comment it down or you can join our telegram and ask there you can also connect me on with me on linkedin you can subscribe to channel you can also join our telegram and you can follow me on instagram so thank you for watching the video i hope you like it thank you